Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So now we are going to discuss about the generative AI. Nowadays, this generative AI, we call it as a new AI. And the AI which we have discussed so far, we are calling it as a traditional AI. People are giving this kind of a name. So the, the earlier AI, we are calling it as a traditional AI. And this is your new AI. So now let's see that what is this generative AI and how this generative AI is different from the traditional AI. So please show some, uh, please focus on these things guys while discussion. Uh, please uh, pay some more attention and then you will get the ideas. Uh, you, then you will get the okay, clear understanding that how these are different to each other. So if I talk about the generative AI, so generative AI is again a, a, a type of AI which can generate the text data, image data or other type of media means that video, audio in the response of the prompt. So now you got the very new things is the what is the prompt. So prompt is nothing but the input. So input can be the text base, a image base and the video base. So what happening is, so now in this generative AI, it is a special type of AI category which has the capability to generate the text data it has the capability to generate image data or other kind of media files. Like for example, I take one example of the chat GPT. Give me a hundred word summary of Modi visit in the US in 2023. And when you write these things in the chat GPT, chat GPT gives you this kind of output means that you pass a, a input and uh, as I mentioned that this input has a special name which is the prompt. So this pass has a, uh, as a prompt and this prompt is giving me this kind of output or you can say that this is the generated output. Similarly, as I mentioned that, as I mentioned that, the generation part is not necessarily the text. It can be the image as well. So here, I just mentioned that a picture of a sunset along with along a beach. So now you can see that this is the picture generated by the model. And apart, uh, you, maybe you have seen these things, guys, that we have many people, uh, many images circulating over the internet where Elon Musk is playing holy. Uh, Albert Einstein is playing holy or Ratan Tata is playing holy. You can see that Kim Jong is playing holy. So definitely these pictures are not the real pictures. These pictures are getting generated by the generative AI models. Okay. So the generative output can be a text, it can be a image, it can be a audio as well. So, so I don't know whether you have uh, uh, seen, whether you have uh, heard about these things. Nowadays, a very famous scam in the market where they are cloning your voice. So they will speak in your voice, whatever they speak, they will speak in your voice means, I mean, this is very little scam that we have. So when they will, uh, they will build a model in such a way that, that uh, they, uh, when they speak, their voice will be 
kind of a your voice okay and apart from these things we have the deep fakes that you have seen that guys in the last uh, few month we have seen some kind of a like we, uh, some kind of a video where narendra modi is is uh, is is uh, singing some song although this is not the real video but when you see this video nobody can identify the it is a fake video right so nowadays this kind of a is the example of the generative ai so you can see that generative ai has both uh, positive and the negative effects also but here we are discussing about the example of the generative ai so generative ai you go to the clarity that generative ai we are having the models we are having the models which has the capability to generate something so how it generate okay the thing is that the question comes the question comes that how they i have how they achieve this kind of a capability to generate the data okay so let's take the one example i will give you the one example again generative ai is not the new things it's not like because maybe you when you see the chat gpt when you see this kind of a elon musk is playing holy this kind of a image or or like narendra modi song these are kind of a maybe you will feel that okay this kind of a magic is happening but this is again not the magic let me give you the example let me let's do a, some kind of activity to understand that how generative ai works okay so what i'm doing is i am just keep getting some kind of a cat images i am just taking some cat images and now i'm asking you to i'm telling you to i'm asking you to see this cat images for the 10 second and uh, then i will ask the one question okay please watch this cat images very carefully and now we have like multiple cat images okay so we saw this uh, this is around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 around 14 to 15 cat images so so i must you that like you you see this cat images very carefully when i saw this cat images i tried to extract these features of the cat means that this cat containing some kind of a mustache some special color means if you can see that we have like specific colors we have a a a, a, a proper ear shape a tail is there four leg so when i saw this image i extra, my brain extracted these features and now when i ask my brain to draw the cat image so my brain will my brain will use this extracted feature which is stored in the memory and try to generate these features so now when i ask my brain to okay draw the cat image so when as my brain is already so my brain will start creating the features okay so a tail will be there and some four legs so this is how my brain works right so brain extract the feature and now he use the same feature to implement the same features to draw the cat image and this is how the generative ai works so in the generative ai my model are trained on a very huge data my model is trained on a huge data and during the learning of this models they learned that how the data looks like in a particular case and now if you ask them 
to generate the same data so my model has the has the capability to generate the similar data now model is is has the capability that whatever the data on which trained my model can generate the similar kind of data also and this is your generative ai so again generative ai is not the new things it is just again mimic the human learning process human is also the this is also the one of the human learning process way here human is try to store the features in the memory and when you ask the uh, uh, create the picture which use some of these kind of features so brain will use these features and draw the similar image so this is your generative ai okay so the only difference is that how it is more powerful how it is able to generate uh, this kind of a image very accurately because this model are trained on a very huge data like for example if i take the case of this uh, alan musk so in the case of this alan musk picture so the thing is that my my model is trained on almost every kind of images like uh, various alan musk pictures various holy picture so now when you are asking that a picture is alan musk playing holy my model has the my model has the knowledge that how the picture looks like when there is a holy scenario you know that holy is a colorful festival so when you say that uh, can you create the picture when the holy is there so they have the capability to create the scenario of the holy you also ask the model to you uh, to create the alan musk picture so model is already trained on the a model is already trained on the uh, alan musk picture they know that how alan musk looks like and then you are saying that alan musk playing so playing my model is also aware that what will be the scenario of the playing and my model just combine the alan musk holy and the playing activity and generate the image okay thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.